So in yesterday's session, we have discussed the difference between the normal copy and the shallow copy. So in uh, uh, so the syntax for normal copy is uh, handle one is equal to handle two. So this is just a normal copy. So in this normal copy, what happens? This uh, two handles will be pointing to the same object. So in normal copy, the two handles will be pointing to the same object. Whereas in shallow copy, the syntax for shallow copy is h1 is equal to new of h2. So this two handles will be pointing to two different objects. So two different objects will be created for this two handles, and each handle will be pointing to different objects. And uh, any changes which are made within one object will not be reflected in uh, another object. But we have a limitation of shallow copy that uh, inside a class if we have another class handle then this class handle is not getting copied to another object if we are trying to uh, do shallow copy between the two two objects then the class handle uh, shade between uh, then the class handle is uh, commonly shared between this two handles so this was a limitation for shallow copy in case of shallow copy that's why we are going to deep copy so with the help of deep copy method we can uh, achieve the uh, so we can achieve the internal handle copy copying also so internal handles or uh, internal handles will also be copied in case of deep copy method so deep copy is nothing but our own defined method so i will show how to uh, perform deep copy so deep copy in in case of deep copy we will uh, uh, create our own method so with the, with one example i will take uh, i will explain the deep copy so let us take a class called test underscore 2 and uh, i am taking a property called int m is equal to 50 and uh, i have a function called new so So I have a function called uh, test underscore two copy and in this function what I am doing is copy is equal to new and uh, copy dot m is equal to this dot m and uh, ending the function so basically uh, we have we have already discussed this type of functions so the return type of the function is uh, test underscore 2 so the return type may be integer data type uh, real data type boolean data type or anything so the uh, in system so uh, so in previous sessions we have already discussed that in system verlope the return type of function may be of a class data type also we can uh, we can make the return data type of a class data type also so here the return data type is of type test underscore 2 so this is the return type of this function basically this function is returning an object so in this function we are creating an object and we are returning this object when we call this function and the function name is called copy so we can use uh, so instead of uh, defining uh, any variable separately we can use this uh, function name only as a variable this also we have discussed in our previous sessions so this uh, these are some of the uh, methods in uh, system log. so we can use the return type as a class data type instead of using int uh, or any other so this we are returning an object so that object is of cl a class type that is nothing but test underscore 2. So test underscore 2 is a return type of this function and the name of the function is copy. And uh, instead of, uh, instead of uh, explicitly defining any variable name, we can use the function name as the variable. So here copy is the handle and we are creating the object copy is equal to new. And uh, in this object, we are copying uh, the value of m so basically we are creating an object called copy so in the function what happens an object so the handle will be uh, pointing to an object so an object will be created for this handle and uh, a property will be present here so what uh, we are doing with the help of keyword this so we have also already discussed this uh, keyword this so this refers to the uh, property which is 
present inside the class that is global variable so this refers to the global variable m is the global variable if we use the keyword this this dot m means the property which is present inside this class m we are referring to this property so the value 50 will be stored inside this object so the value of the m will be equal to 50 and it will be stored in the object copy is this clear so like this we are copying the uh, global variable in into an object like this is it clear I hope this is clear if you are having a what happened shall I explain it again hello no, no, continue with your, it is clear continue with so like this we are uh, copying the uh, property into our object so we are basically uh, creating the object and we are copying the global variable into that into our uh, object now uh, we are ending the class and uh, we have another class called uh, main underscore class and uh, we have a property here that is n is equal to 20 I am just randomly taking the properties, you can take any, anything and I am creating the handle for this class test underscore 2 as t2. So I am creating a handle for this class and within a function new, so this is an inbuilt function, this also we have discussed it. So t2 is equal to new, we are creating an object for this handle t2 and ending the function. and we are creating one more function and the return type of this function is main underscore class and the name of the function is copy and in this function we are creating an object for this handle copy and we are allocating the value of n this dot n so the variable which is present inside this class we are allocating we are allocating it to our copy object and uh, we are also allocating the handle which is present inside this class to this object so this object will contain one variable so the object is nothing but copy and this will contain a property as well as a handle like this so we are copying the handle and the property and we are ending the function and ending the class now sorry not sorry sorry, sorry. copy dot t2 is equal to t2 dot copy sorry this was a mistake here not this uh, this dot t2 we are uh, basically uh, we are assigning copy dot t2 is equal to t2 dot copy so with the help of t2 handle we are calling the function copy so where is this function uh, created in the class test underscore 2 so it will call this function and by calling this function what happens we will get the return type we will uh, get this object so what this object contains the value of m so when whenever we are assigning this copy dot t2 is equal to t2 dot copy t2 dot copy will copy the function which is present inside the class test underscore 2 so inside this test underscore 2 this copy uh, function is present so whenever we call this copy function the object which is created inside this copy function will be uh, returned and the object contains the value of m so this object will be allocated to this object handle so this handle will also be pointing to the uh, this uh, object and this will contain the value of m separately 
so within an initial beginning block so within initial begin what i'm going to do is first i'm going to uh, declare the handles main underscore class mc1 and mc2 and uh, mc1 is equal to new I will, I will create the object for mc1 and mc2 is equal to mc1 dot copy so what happened what happens now is we are creating object for mc1 mc1 is equal to new so an object will be created for this mc1 and whenever we are calling and whenever we are calling mc1 dot copy so the copy function created inside the class main underscore class will be called so the copy function which is present inside the main underscore class will be called so this is the copy function which is present inside the main underscore class and the object will be written the object is nothing but copy so in this uh, main class what we what we have an object will be written whenever we call that copy function present in main underscore class so what this copy object will have value n and inside this function we are doing uh, copy dot t2 is equal to t2 dot copy basically we are calling one more function t2 dot copy so the copy function which is declared inside this test underscore 2 so we are returning this object what this object contains the value of m so we are returning the object copy which contains the value of m so the handle for this will be copied to he here so like this the copy handle will also be called so this copy object will also contain the handle of copy this is of test underscore t2 class handle so this is present inside this test underscore t2 so like this we will be allocating we will be getting the copy and it will be shallow copied to so where is it sorry here i should write it t2 so this object will be allocated to mc2 so mc2 will have its own so this is mc1 mc1 is pointing towards this and mc2 will now point towards this copy object which is having separate n and reference for t2 object like this so with the help of this uh, our own uh, logic we are going to uh, copy the internal handles also I hope this uh, explanation is clear. Is this clear? You are having. Can, can you please explain why, why, why we are creating object for T uh, two in function only? T two, this one. Yeah, yeah there is a handle of uh, subclass in function only why we are creating so is this object yeah so here we are calling the copy function present in class test underscore 2 right so calling this function with the handle we should create an object so without creating an object we cannot call the function Yes, yes why, why in function, function only? Why, why not, not out, out of, of the function? function? No, no, we, are, can create like we are using the handle inside the class, class function, right? Yes. So that's why we should uh, create one more function called new and we should create the object. Then after creating the object, we can use the handle inside that class. Inside the class. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then here, here also, also while well assigning copy the uh, copy dot t2 equals to t2 dot copy how to um next slide next slide in uh, here here in 
RHS side, I think this dot T2 we have to give, right? No, 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 no. Uh, then it will become uh, this dot T2 dot copy. Because the uh, tool will know that this T2 is. Yes, yes, you are correct. It belongs to this person. Yes, yes. This dot T2. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Any other doubts? Is this clear? Do you know the deep copy is clear? Yeah, so if it is clear, then uh, we can end this session. So in next session, uh, we will uh, discuss this shallow copy and deep copy with the help of uh, some coding. And after that, we will start with the interfaces in system retro. So yeah, that's the plan. And uh, that's, for, that's all for today. So if you're having any doubt, you can ask me or else we can end this session. Thank you.